Welcome to the AJ Awesome Show, a show about my favorite things. My name is AJ, and my special guest for this episode is my friend, Marco Stunt. I hope you like the show. You've had a lot of success since our last interview. What accomplishment are you most proud about? Uh, meeting Chris Jericho, for sure. Have you met Chris Jericho? Um, I talked to him in a press conference. That's what's up. He's a very nice guy. I'm sure one day you'll interview him. What did your mom and dad say when you told her and him you were going to be a wrestler? <clears throat> Uh, they were very supportive. They, uh, they wanted me to go be a wrestler, and they wanted me to follow my dreams. Now, did they believe that I was going to get to where I am? No. But, uh, but here we are, you know? Now they believe. Who are your inspirations by pro wrestling and why? In pro wrestling and why? Um, I, I, I like the big show a lot. The big show is a big inspiration to me because I, too, wanted to be seven foot tall and 400 pounds and throw around people. And it worked out. I'm seven foot tall and I throw around people smaller than me all the time. I was doing this. It was I, really yeah, you're, like, you're kind of like, like, like Eric Bischoff, you know? He used to hold the mic out. Did you ever watch WCW? No. No? What is the best starter Pokemon and why? That's a good one. I would have to say... Uh, Charmander, because, I mean, let's be realistic. If somebody was blowing fire, if something was blowing fire on you, I mean, I feel like that would beat a lot of things. And if you have enough fire, it can beat water. Squirtle can put out the fire, and it can also drown a human. Look, we're not going to talk about Squirtle statistics. You asked me what I thought about Charmander, or what the best starter Pokemon for me would be. Okay. I think Charmander would beat Squirtle. Yeah, it can. If you could have three wishes granted, what would they be? I wish I had known about this one. That's a hard one. Okay. That's your first wish. Yes, to know about the wishes. Um, and then my second wish would be... To have an endless supply... Of Mountain Dew. That would be awesome. Yes, cold Mountain Dew. It has to be cold. Can you imagine? Do you like Mountain Dew? I don't drink it that much. Well, if you had your favorite drink whenever you wanted it, wouldn't that be amazing? Cherry, Pepsi, or vanilla Coca-Cola. I like that. Vanilla Coke? Yeah. Yeah, that's my dad. That's one of my dad's favorites. We get it at Sonic. You guys have Sonic? Yeah, where you guys? You guys live around here. What am I talking about? I keep thinking. I go all over the country, and uh, I think I'm in other parts that don't have things. We three hours northeast, northwest. I got you. I live southeast-ish, kind of. In south. Mississippi? I do. Right near, uh, right in South Haven. South Haven, Mississippi. What would you say to people that think AEW will not be successful? I would say they're going to have to watch and find out that it will be successful. Get in the viewers. Right? We're going to get all the viewers. All of them. Every single one of them that's watching, we'll have all of them. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni. What is your opinion about pineapple on pizza? I don't like pineapple in general, so I don't think it belongs on anything, e including a pineapple. <laughs> I like pepperoni and pineapple. Alright, I'll let you slide only because you said pepperoni. I won't pile drive you right now. Do you like barbecue wings? I do. I like, I like uh, honey barbecue wings. I like all types of wings except for, um, like, buffalo. You don't like buffalo? I had to learn to like buffalo because when I, I worked in a restaurant, and that's, and uh, 
I worked at TGI Fridays and they had endless appetizers. And so they would order endless appetizer wings on other people's uh, um, tabs and we would just eat the buffalo wings in the back. But I, you know, I won't say that with that, that restaurant was in South Haven, Mississippi either. Uh, oops. How does it feel to know that you're going to be on TV soon? Weird. I still don't feel like I should be, you know? I feel like I'm just some kid from Olive Branch, Mississippi. and uh, But apparently they see me differently, and I think that's really cool. But I think TV is going to be absolutely nuts, and I feel excited. I'm excited. What is your best subject in school? Math. I was, I was really good at math, uh, well, the math that I took anyways. I, I couldn't, I'm not like, you know, super high level math, but. I'm extremely good at math and reading. Mm, so you, you're probably better than me. I, can you, what's your, high, what's your reading level? My reading level's a X. Is that like, is that like? It's almost Z, which is the highest. I'm going to. I'll just take that as that's, you're really smart, so. That's true. Yeah. It's quite obvious. You wouldn't be doing this. CD said you, you did so good because you copied off me in math. Yeah, of course. You were right there beside me, right? I think. Yeah, we're in the same class. You don't see me there? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I've got the curly hair. I sit behind Marsha. Who the heck is that? Yeah, yeah, your girlfriend. I don't have one. Hey, Marsha, she told me y'all were together. Well, she's lying. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a talk with her. Did you tell Joey about Marsha? No. Why not? Because I don't know who she is. You gotta quit playing with it. You didn't tell them about Marsha? No. What? We're gonna have to have a talk, AJ. Can you tell me the story of how you got signed to AEW? Of course. I uh, got booked for GCW, uh, lost in New York. And uh, they had me come in because somebody got hurt. And which, lucky me, I got to come out of the crowd and wrestle KTB, which Cody Rhodes happened to see. And he liked my, my move that I do, the Codebreaker move. And uh, he asked if I could be on All In. And I did it. I got a, had fun there. And then a few months later, I broke my leg. And I got a text message from him while, about, I guess in January. And he asked, or, yeah, January or February. And he asked if I would be ready for Double or Nothing. And uh, they actually signed me at Fight for the Fallen. So I, they, uh, they, I didn't know I was getting signed until Fight for the Fallen. Who is Marco Stunt, and why should my viewers get to know you? I'm Marco Stunt, and you should get to know me because I'm Marco Stunt. And I'm sure all my viewers already know you. Well, get to know me. I mean, I guess you are with this, right? That's what yeah. this is for. To get to know me. You look really tan in this light. Well, you tanner than me? Yes. You are tanner than me. I'm done with this. I'm just kidding. Um, I haven't even tanned yet. Me neither. I should probably, huh? I'll get a spray tan for Wednesday. Maybe. Now it's time for the Off. You really sucked. <laughs> I mean, you got a point. So. <laughs>
That's the end. You. <laughs> That's yeah. the end. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode of the AJ Awesome Show. I would like to thank Marco Stunt for being my special guest. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time!